So, pork chops. Pork chops, my favorite. Everybody's favorite. Pork chops, I, I love them with um, very, very seasons such as cumin, such as smoked paprika, such as ancho chili. Uh, today we're gonna do it with the, the ancho chili with the uh, sweet and sour fig. Normally, I'll do a sweet and sour uh, with a plum, but we're in a different season. So you gotta change up the ingredients and do different things. So first things first, we're gonna add olive oil to the pork chops, uh, season it with one teaspoon of uh, cumin, one teaspoon of uh, smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of ancho chili. And don't forget to season it with salt and pepper. So uh, you can religiously uh, season religiously um, with um, salt and pepper, knowing that it's going to really give you a nice caramelization once you hit the pan. So repeat the same steps on the other side. Because I don't know where you come from, but both sides of my meat come seasoned. So do this, repeat the same steps. So it's ready to go in the pan. Now the ancho gives it a nice robust flavor. Same with the, with the smokiness from the uh, paprika and the cumin. I just love the the vibrant um, touch that it gives to, uh, to, to the pork chop. So at medium heat, we're gonna add olive oil and we're gonna sear it with sear these in a cast iron pan for three to four minutes on each side. Then finish in the oven at 400 degrees for uh, five to seven minutes. Not perfect like cast iron, but if you don't have cast iron, you can use a nice quality stainless steel pan that'll give it a nice caramelization also. A uh, little fun fact about pork chops, it's the other great white meat. So whether you think you're, it's not a healthy uh, meat to uh, incorporate in your body, it's the other great white meat, just like a chicken breast. You know, but just like everything, moderation is everything. So choose wisely. So after uh, after the um, the pork chop has seared on both sides, three to four minutes, that's when we're going to flash in the oven, uh, 400 degrees until it reaches a temperature of uh, doneness. One, 160 is what I like. So make sure the juices are running clear. So that's how I like to tell when the pork chop is done. Let's go. So it's been five to seven minutes that's passed by, so now it's time to give our pork chops a check. So remember, you want a nice firmness, juice is running clear to really kind of be, feel comfortable and know that it's done. So as, as you can see, the juices are looking nice, nicely clear, it's nicely caramelized. Give those a flip. Let that base in the fat for a minute. And we're just gonna set these to the side for a second. So one of the key important aspects, whether you're cooking pork chops, whether you're cooking steak, whether you're cooking lamb, let, the, let it rest. Let, let your meat rest so the juices are allowed to settle, so the juices don't run and you end up with a, a dry piece of protein. So as we take those out, next we're gonna start we're gonna make the sweet and sour fig, uh, fig sauce. So next we're gonna saute the figs. I like to saute them whole, get the whole, whole aspect effect of it. Turn this up a minute. Hold them nice and uh, nice, nicely caramelized. And we're also gonna add the uh, tomatoes as well. Now the reason I like to add them whole instead of maybe slicing, slicing them up is I like the burst of flavor that really pops in your mouth. So whether it's um, a small cherry tomato, a fig, or, uh, even um, proteins, fruits, this size is great for balance with the pork. So you want the sweet, earthy, uh, sour uh, mixture. So the seasons with a little salt and pepper. And 
and just let that uh, cook for a minute or two at high heat. I like to hear this pop. That means it's getting happy and the flavors are starting to come together. So next thing we're gonna deglaze it with half a cup of red wine, red wine vinegar, sorry. And another finish with a half a cup of uh, granulated sugar. Just give this a nice stir. So the sweet, uh, the vinegar and the sugar is gonna really reduce and it's gonna uh, really cook it and make its own syrup. So maybe uh, three or four minutes, we're gonna let this cook. So once the uh, syrup thickens slightly, that's when we'll finish with a couple of tablespoons of butter and be ready to serve for a nice great pork dish. So the, um, the sweet and sour mixture is reduced, reduced by half. So you have a nice uh, syrup that's taking place. You know, that's what you really want uh, with, for your sweet and sour sauce. So after that, after that comes, that, after that takes place, excuse me, we'll add a couple tablespoons of uh, butter, just throw that in and we'll be ready to serve. This is what you really want to see. Nice golden. The butter is giving a nice shimmer, shimmering effect. So it's nice, it's nice and glossy. So it's look for a good, flavorful um, fig and tomato sweet and sour sauce. So if you want, if you like it whole, I mean, just like myself, I like it whole. But if you want to um, cut them in half, you have that option also. There you have it. Sweet and sour pork with uh, cherry tomatoes and uh, mission figs. Enjoy.